A new law just signed by Governor Gina Raimondo Friday will impact online shopping for Rhode Island residents. The legislation stems from a recent U.S. Supreme Court decision making it easier for states to collect sales tax from online retailers who don't have a physical presence in that state. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima has the details that are new tonight. What many are calling a win for local businesses will come at a cost to consumers. Jay Amato and his family frequently shop online. See a few bucks online, yeah, we see some sales. So he was disappointed to learn they would soon be paying Rhode Island's 7% sales tax on purchases made on the internet. I, I don't think it's fair. It's tough to get the 7% sales, sales tax on top of that, which I, I don't know. I think it's tough that uh, yeah, consumers are being charged that as well. I mean, we, we're paying up sales tax as it is. I think that once people get used to this, uh, they will accept it. House Finance Committee Chairman Marvin Abney introduced the legislation in the House. He says the state is losing out on revenue from people choosing to shop online rather than in Rhode Island stores. Consumers were looking for a cheap way to get the same products. And so I think this, I know that this bill will level that particular playing field. He says Rhode Island is not alone in making these changes, and many other states are taking the same steps. Companies that sell taxable items in Rhode Island will now be required to have a permit and collect 7% sales tax on purchases made by Ocean State shoppers. The big retailers would now have a part on a farm that would be collecting that, that tax and remitting it back to the state. Abney expects this new law to generate at least $11 million in its first year. It gives our businesses the opportunity to compete with retailers who are not presently in the state. Abney says the law will take effect in 90 days. This grace period gives the online retailers a chance to update their systems and prepare. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.